I'm Jennifer Angel. This is your horoscope overview for the coming week, Sagittarius. Now, right at the start of the week, we've got an opposition between the Sun and Mars. Now, the Sun is in your solar fifth house. This is a very creative area of your chart. Uh, it brings in family and children, but it's also a very personal area of your chart. It's a place where love affairs can start. So if you're looking for love, then certainly with the opposition between Mars and the Sun, it's high energy, it's passionate. Passionate. Um, you want to take control somewhat though because you are a mutable sign so it's easy to step aside and let other people sort of you know lead the way but with Mars being in your solar 11th house then this is really an indication not to do that so you find out what it is that you want to do of course there's always compromise in life no matter what area of life it relates to there's some level of compromise which is needed simply because we're all unique and we're all different so keep that in mind but also uh, it seems to be important right now particularly with this aspect to um, take some charge and some level of control in your life. Now the other area which is highlighted this week, this coming week for you is your solar fourth house. So this is to do with your home, your family, uh, your domestic scene. Now uh, Venus is sitting in this area which is very nice for love affairs as, as well around um, the home. It's uh, but the Venus does have a conjunction with Neptune. So let's not forget that Neptune is the planet of fantasy. And although this can give you a nice feeling of everything sailing along beautifully, um, it may not be exactly as you, as you thought it would be. So keep an open mind. Um, how you thought things could work out then perhaps they're not going to quite work out in that in that way and there may be a need to uh, have some adjustments so Venus conjunct Neptune is almost a little bit cloud nine okay so you want to see what's happening around your home environment for what it is and not what you want it to be okay but once we get through that it's a very it's a very nice aspect and it's a very soft aspect and it brings a lot of sensitivity into your life which is nice of course april is a somewhat challenging month there's a lot happening during april we've got a grand cardinal cross two eclipses so life is changeable at the moment so it's good just to stay open have an open heart open mind and uh, that way you know you can be ready for what comes next all right have a great week Sagittarius I'm Jennifer Angel broadcasting from New York City thanks for watching